Well, we're going to change the fuel filter on a 1998 Chevy 1500. It's a K1500. That means four wheel so drive. The fuel filter is located underneath the vehicle. In the middle, there's the front wheel. And we, we, we have to undo this line nut and this line nut, but there will be a spray of fuel, um, about a third of a cup, not even that, a quarter cup. So all lights are out of bounds because uh, if it hits a light, especially incandescent uh, trouble lights, uh, there could be trouble, could catch a fire. Removed the uh, fuel filter. I couldn't film it because it'd need light and that's too dangerous, as I said before. But there's the old fuel filter. And uh, if you look here, there's a couple of O-rings on the end. O-ring on that end, do not discard them. They're hard to find. And sometimes these are seized on here. Then if it's only one, you can turn the whole filter, like so, to get it off. Okay, so we're ready. Oh, by the way. So if we look here, there's a out. So that would mean it would go toward the engine. Here, Thanks. Box, yeah, okay, so we just slip that in like so. And you just start both. It's kind of at the same time. You don't want to cross thread because you're in all kinds of trouble again. It's all kinds of ways of getting in trouble with everything, but that's started. And I need that held over this way a bit, please. Got, yeah. There. I don't know if that started or not. No. It's good, but it's not when it's like there we go. It's all around. Yeah, that's started now. Okay, we'll tighten them with a 16 open end wrench and a 20 and hold this with a 21 uh, millimeter combination wrench. Okay, go. Okay, just checking to make sure everything's nice and tight. A little awkward to get everything, especially you can't have any light. There we go. That. Yeah. There we go. Now uh, pull up toward the torsion bar. That's that bar there. Yeah. Okay. You gotta push it in. Yeah. Hey. There we go. It's tightened in place. Um, and we'll check for leaks. And we got a new fuel filter.